The Tesla Semi isn't just real, it's about to become a freight revolution on wheels. While headlines keep repeating the same few specs, 500 miles of range, 1 megawatt chargers, and that massive Nevada Gigafactory, there's so much more going on beneath the surface. This isn't just an electric truck. It's a rolling, energy-packed disruptor that could flip the script on the entire U.S. freight industry. Since Dan Priestley's keynote at ACT Expo 2025, rumors about delays or cancellation have been crushed under a mountain of real-world updates. Construction is nearly finished on Tesla's 1.7 million square foot gigafactory in Nevada, a factory built specifically for the semi. No more borrowing production lines from the Model Y. This plant will crank out up to 50,000 semis a year. The timeline is clear. 2025 is for pilot production, and 2026 is go time for mass scale. Meanwhile, Tesla has confirmed permits and funding for 46 public mega charging stations. These aren't your average EV chargers hidden behind chain link fences. These monsters push out 1 to 2 megawatts of power, enough to deliver 350 miles of charge in just 30 minutes. Picture a charging corridor stretching from the ports of Los Angeles all the way to Charlotte. With these chargers in place, Tesla semis can top up in Phoenix, switch drivers in Dallas, and unload in Atlanta, without burning a single drop of diesel. And the semis on the road already? They're not sitting idle. Tesla's prototype fleet has racked up more than 7.9 million miles, with 26 trucks surpassing the 100,000-mile mark. Lessons from this real-world testing are feeding into the next evolution of the semi. Think lighter high-voltage batteries, sleeker mirrors, and improved visibility for the driver. Tesla is focused on execution now, not splashy reveals. This is about flipping freight economics, not chasing headlines. So how exactly does the semi shake up the economy? Let's start with that new HV battery. It's cheaper to manufacture, yet more efficient. It holds nearly one megawatt hour of energy, enough to power the average US home for more than a month. Now picture a regional distribution center with 20 semis parked out back overnight. Together, those trucks store 20 megawatt hours of energy. That's equivalent to the daily output of a small solar farm. Tesla's already equipped the semi with EPTO, a two-way plug designed to power refrigerated trailers. But flip a software switch, and now those trucks can send electricity back to the warehouse. In other words, your fleet yard is also a pop-up power plant. California's energy market already pays for this. In 2021, grid-stabilizing batteries earned around $63 per kilowatt per year. If a semi-fleet pushes just 300 kilowatts back into the grid for a few hours on a hot summer night, it could earn $75,000 to $90,000 annually. Take PepsiCo's Bakersfield snack plant as a real-world example. Say five semis pull in at 7 p.m., each with a 40% charge. That's five megawatt hours sitting still. During peak pricing, the plant sends two megawatt hours into the grid, then recharges after midnight when electricity is cheaper. That one night could bring in $230 of profit. Repeat it daily and you're looking at $84,000 per year, before even counting California's carbon credits for replacing diesel fridge units with electric ones. The beauty is that a diesel truck becomes a cost center the moment you park it. But a Tesla semi becomes a revenue stream. It can smooth out power surges, trim expensive peak hour draws, and act as backup during blackouts. A single 1 megawatt hour semi battery can power a 200,000 square foot warehouse for 4 hours. That alone can save companies around $67,200 a year just in demand charge reductions. Add it all up and one semi could recover $300,000 to $400,000 of its purchase price in 10 years, without even touching fuel savings or maintenance reductions. But there's a human angle too. The trucking industry is bleeding drivers. It's loud, grueling work. Diesel engines roar at 80 plus decibels all day, while the job itself demands constant focus and stamina. As of late 2024, the US faces a shortfall of 82,000 drivers. That number could nearly double by 2030. Replacing a driver costs a fleet nearly $12,800 when you account for recruitment, training, and idle equipment. Now imagine a company running 250 trucks, 
losing 25% of its drivers each year. Cutting churn by just 10% saves almost $320,000 annually, almost as much as what they spend on diesel fuel. So why do drivers stick around with Tesla semis? Because they're smooth, quiet, and less stressful. The cabin hums at under 60 dB, so quiet you can carry on a conversation. There's no gear shifting. Just tap the pedal and glide. In one PepsiCo trial, a semi traveled 1,076 miles with only a driver swap. No fuel stops, no def refills, no oil checks. That's time turned into revenue. And science backs this up. Studies from Southwest Research Institute show that road noise and vibration cause 38% of driver fatigue over a 600-mile shift. Eliminate those and drivers can safely stay alert 1.2 hours longer, enough to complete a shift without pushing legal limits or risking accidents. Tesla's Semi also supports convoy driving. Every truck has hardware ready for Tesla's hands-free full self-driving system rolling out later in 2025. Picture one human-led truck followed by two driverless ones, digitally tethered together. That cuts labor costs by two-thirds per mile. And with aerodynamic drag reduced by 11% to 25% in a platoon, a 500-mile range stretches to 625 miles. So let's talk dollars. At April 2025's diesel price of $3.56 per gallon, a diesel truck running 6 miles per gallon burns 59 cents per mile. A Tesla semi sipping 1.66 kilowatt hours per mile costs about 21 cents. Run three in a convoy and drag reduction drops the cost to 18 cents. That's less than a third the cost of diesel, and even cheaper at night rates. Tesla's charging network is built for this. Those 46 mega charger stations will be spaced about 200 to 250 miles apart, ideal for neat three hour driving legs. Dispatchers can now think like airline planners, routing through charging hubs, instead of gas stations. Shorter brakes, fewer delays, and fewer late shipments. And what about carbon credits? In California alone, every electric mile avoids 1.6 kilograms of CO2. That's 80 tons of CO2 saved annually per truck, earning $4,760 in low-carbon fuel credits. Add ERIN credits from the EPA which rewards clean electricity at about $1.70 per unit, and a single semi could earn another $7,650 per year. That's over $12,000 just for being clean. So with proven mileage, a built-out network, and economic wins stacking up, why are fleet managers still hesitating? What exactly are they waiting for? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button and subscribe for more behind-the-scenes updates on Tesla tech, EVs, and the future of transport. Until next time, stay charged and stay curious.